Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. And this is going to be a Pisces Money and Career Weekly reading from June 13th to June 19th, 2022. Pisces. Let's see what messages, what energies are coming in for next week, June 13th to June 19th. In money and career, Pisces. Pisces, money and career. In June 13th, June 19th. It's a lot of cards. Okay. Pisces. Money and career. A lot of cards popping out, but in big bunches. Okay. Got it. Beautiful Pisces, Ten of Pentacles, the Judgment, and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. You're making a decision. You're making a decision to move ahead, action forward. This is moving forward. And it's moving forward in a comfortable financial way. Um, bringing you mental stability, um, harmony in your home. You're comfortable. I feel like you're comfortable with this decision, even though it's a bold decision. Judgment. This is this week. Um, you're pushing forward positive, positive energies, Pisces. But you are making that decision judgment it's a it's a different path it's the choice of a new career it's um or you're seriously considered to get a job or if you're looking for a job you you you're seriously considered to get it or that promotion right but it's it's different it's a new type of career interesting and then you have the wheel of fortune which is just confirming action forward confirming your action forward positive action forward this big change this big career change and really can be an opportunity out of the blue doesn't have to be but it's financial gain 10 of 10 of pentacles definitely finances coming in definitely bossing up you're either getting a raise or a promotion or or this new career this choice of new job new career is bringing in uh, more money and the Wheel of Fortune is there to say, yes, action forward. It's going to get better and better. But also you have learned, Pisces, that to manage. Learned how to manage the ebbs and flows of the energies, the stops and goes, the positives and the negatives, right? That there always are. As we move forward, um there are always obstacles along the way and that's fine because you're in the right path because you're in the right energies you are going to feel more of a positive push good karma you know when you're in the right place at the right time with those synchronicities popping in that's the wheel of fortune putting out positive vibes projecting positive energies to bring in the right people, the right circumstances, and the right energies to push forward. I like the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is that natural ability of the universe to push you forward with its positive energy and positive kar karma because you are optimistic on your path. You are energized and dynamic in this path. And that's what brings in the positive energies. This choice, this decision projects you in beautiful new energies, new people, connecting with the right people, connecting with the right energies, opening up new doors, being in the right place. You are on the right in the right career, in the right job, whatever it is that you're you're making happen. I really think it's it's a, a promotion or a new job. I don't think it's the creation of a, a of a business, although I might be wrong. Let's see. Let's pull some more cards to see. Yes, six 
six of swords moving transitioning transitioning from doesn't have to be difficult but sort of tumultuous or or not something complicated right you are transitioning from a complicated situation in a job in a situation in um in a business in a project moving on to calmer waters smoother waters with people you understand that people that are going to listen to you are going to uh, appreciate what you bring to the table and are going to give you more responsibility because of your experience because you're of, of your ability to uh, find solutions and make things happen six of swords moving into calmer waters transitioning into a new path new career new job promotion take it as it resonates yes it is new it is a new idea it, it is a new job it is innovative it is something probably that you have not done before because you're thinking differently you are speaking with different people it's not the same team or not the same company but it's um it's thinking new it's it's a new idea whatever it means for you and you are curious and enthusiastic enthusiastic to um develop this idea it's giving you it's giving you um inspiration whatever this is it can be a new service it can be a new um uh you're on a new team or maybe you're transformed maybe you're you're transformed transferred maybe you were in a company and you're bossing up with a promotion with going on to a, a different service or a different um activity different sort of activity within a company whatever it means and that requires more intellectual skills, more knowledge on the product. I don't know where that's coming from. More knowledge on the situation, more knowledge on the ideas of this company you're working for. And apparently you have the knowledge, Pisces, the emperor. So if you don't have the knowledge, this is your manager, your boss, or whoever is hiring you or that person above you that has total control over this, that, that that's a decision maker, but that trusts you in this job, that recognizes your talent and is pushing you forward in this job. Now, the emperor is usually all for uh, once they have decided if they're your boss, if they're that person that hires, if, whatever it is, um, they trust you to be loyal they trust you to follow them um to to a t almost right because they are the decision maker the leader um of this company can be a ceo can be your manager your boss uh and if it's not a manager that's very very i wouldn't say demanding but very charismatic um it is you taking on that managerial role, taking on that position. Um, and um, yes, much more responsibility and, and having control over that. Bossing up, for sure, for sure. All right, let's see if we have more cards coming out. I like this Pisces. This is very clear, very direct, transitioning into patience. <laughs> patience. I believe this temperance card came up for every reading. Patience. Uh, make sure you make your decisions wisely, maturely. Make sure you're balanced. You understand what's going on, the clarity of the situation. You have all the information before pushing forward right don't impose yourself don't think that you know before getting the answers or before getting any sort of information that you're supposed to know whatever it is take your time and and be patient that's what the temperance is all about managing your emotions staying balanced 
at all costs, whatever happens, if there are conflicts, if there are situations that arise that you have to take care of, make sure you stabilize your energy and, you know, just recover your flow. And it's also time to get your life back, Pisces. If you have been in another job that's been difficult, if you have been in another situation, or if you're out, if you're out of a job and now you're positioning yourself into a new job, could, bravo to you and congratulations if you're starting a new job because that's especially if you're out of a job, right? Um, and this is this is a new type of balance and order right? And, and whatever it is, just remain calm if it feels stressful, if it feels, you know, um, competitive, you know, every job, not every job, but a lot of jobs can feel stressful and competitive, obviously. So um, if the situation does become, you know, stressful, don't let the little things bog you down, right? Just, just be patient and and keep that respect for balance and tranquility and that'll help you achieve that fulfillment in this job and in life right take the middle path it's not it's not time to to impose um and to push the envelope right this is a a, a company i don't know why i'm saying company this is a it's not time to be controversial. It is a new path, new ideas, new innovative ideas, but I feel like you're following um, a boss or a company that is very successful, but also very anchored in their ways, very conventional in their ways. Okay. I don't know why I'm saying this, but that's what's coming out. Yes, so if you feel stuck, <laughs> that's why you have the temperance right if you if at some point or this can be also reminiscent of your past situation feeling stuck in a job or feeling stuck in in the non-job right looking for a job looking for you know that new uh project or situation or that new path um i feel like you're out of that you're out of that and if you do feel stuck in this new situation just take your time, listen, and absorb all the information. And this is going to get good. This is good. You're, you're leaving. I really feel like you're leaving the negative behind. Six of Swords and Eight of Swords, leaving that, that, that blockage that you had, whether it's, it was in a job, in a situation, or not having a job, you're now moving on to something very enthusiastic, very fulfilling, uh, page of wands, um, you're finding your mojo again. You have page of swords and page of wands. New idea, uh, curious of the world, excited again, and probably working on a project or probably working in a company that, that excites you, that's fulfilling. And, and, and bravo to you because you made this all happen, Pisces. So if you've been looking for that job, eh, there we go. Um, you, you have brought it all together. You have brought your goals to fruition, or if not, it's coming soon for sure, for sure. And, and it's really giving you wings, um, blossoming, right? Blossoming the page of wands. Pages are all about beginning and blossoming new ideas, blossoming new energies, regaining your energies, regaining positive energies, and really regaining enthusiasm in the job career business take it as it resonates it is new all right let's see if there are a few more cards that want to come out pisces in this deck in this money and career june 13th to 19th pisces is third third page i like it and this is money so ideas power, creativity, enthusiasm, enthusiasm, and money. You have manifested money. Page of Pentacles for me is a mini magician. Um, this is, you, you're probably wanting or manifesting a higher salary or a different salary or a different way of making money, right? This Page of Pentacles is an offer. 
and money coming in. Pisces, three pages, completely new, complete new vibe. Almost like a kid discovering a new toy, right? A new, new curious, curious of what it's going to be all about. Excitement, like a kid. Um, uh, you know, it's a new adventure to discover and, and, and good for you. It's a beautiful, um, positive energy, creative, but also just excitement. Let me know what this is all about, Pisces. Let me know, uh, what this new job is all about. What, what, what you're bossing up to. Five of Cups, that those disappointments, yes. For positive, we also have negative energies that we're releasing. You're releasing this Eight of Swords, this being stuck in the rut, or, or just being stuck in those disappointments, those regrets you had in the past job or past situation. Regrets about people, regrets about situations, re regrets about ways maybe that you were working or managing doesn't have to be um it can be also really the disappointment of people and connections within your past job that you know you didn't really um appreciate but it, it don't don't I, I know it's always very simple to say you know don't get stuck in the past try to release the negative try to move into this beautiful new positive energy new project job um but it's important not to try, at least to try not to drag on too much of the negative history of the past situation, clearly that, you know, that affected you. And all signs, all signs have had the temperance, all signs have had blockages, all signs are moving into positive energies, really. And it's important to move into this new job fresh and you do you are you are pages three pages all about discovery all about ready to receive the new information discover the new information develop this new information whatever it is whatever this company with this job is all about you're ready to take on this brand new adventure i love it and and it's probably competitive it's probably a competitive sector, 10 of wands. There's competition. Uh, and and yes, you might be a little freaked out, but I mean, 10 of wands, it's, it's more responsibility. It's taking on more responsibility. 10 of, uh, not 10 of wands, nine of wands, sorry. There's, um, you, you probably have to prove yourself. There might be tension, competition, pressure, but that's okay. It's a new job. So that is something um, that comes with more responsibility. That's something that comes with a new, uh, a new post, a new job in a company where you are bossing up. If you're the emperor, you are the one, the decision maker, right? So of course you have to prove yourself. Of course, if you're, you know, um, you're up to bat, right? <laughs> I love these American expressions where, you know, where you're taking on more responsibility and um, you, it's new. Of course, you have to prove yourself, right? They just hired you. Um, but it, this is either you or the person that is hiring you, whatever it is, you're taking on more responsibility. I like this. Let me know what this new job is all about. It's, it's the beginning. It is the beginning of a blossoming career for sure. For sure. Wheel of fortune. It's going to get better and better. Positive coming in. <clears throat> Good karma coming in. And money, ten of ten of pentacles and wheel of fortune, money and page of pentacles. You have manifested finances. You have manifested maybe a bigger salary or negotiating a bigger salary or, or whatever it is. There is there are finances coming in. Five of wands, conflicts, and I think the 
five of wands, the nine of, well, no, nine of wands, I think is you're in your new situation, having to prove yourself a little freaked out, but you're good to go, Pisces. Go for it. Go for it. Five of, five of wands and two of pentacles is the conflictual situation in the past, um, in the past job, or it is the ten tension or competition okay so it seems that this is a job where there's a lot of competition going on and you have to sort things out make decisions but i think that this is related to a past situation where there was a lot of conflict day-to-day -day conflict with your with a team or day-to-day -day conflict on a job or just you know that that perpetual um, stabbing in the back situation. I mean, the five of wands isn't that bad, but it's just like that day after day conflictual situations, right? Not very comfortable, but there's nothing you can't solve, but it's not very comfortable. And to the point where you had to make a decision, you have to figure things out, prioritize and figure out what you were going to do and how you were going to get, you know, move on to a new path, really sort things out. And maybe you were in that job for a while, right? Maybe it was even years. And, and, and then you really had to, and you were like juggling a lot of things and, 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 and maybe picking up slack for people and, and maybe you were overworked and maybe you, maybe you feel like you were the one sort of, you know, taking on for everyone, everyone else. <clears throat> All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road, Pisces, beautiful reading, Pisces, weekly money and career from June 13th to the 19th, one last message for the road, Nine, yes, so here we go, seven of swords, those people you didn't trust or don't, or were disappointed in, the five of cups, you feel like they got away with a lot and that you had to uh, figure out solutions, be there, be the one picking up the pieces and finding, you know, uh, finding ways to make it work while everybody was just sort of hanging out or, you know, just taking advantage of your advantage of the situation. That's where you had to make a decision and, and see how you were going to push forward on this new job career. And here we have the uh, King of Swords, clear clear on this new experience clear on what was coming next you know this is either again uh, someone that is offering you a better position um because of your experience because of your education um because you're good for the job this is for you and and if the, if it's this is not you that is very clear clearly uh experienced for this job this is again the emperor and the king of swords hiring you for this new position and six of let me just put that there six of um uh the lovers which is, yes, a fulfilling job, something joyful, something that you really connect with. This is your sector. This is something that you enjoy and you're experienced in and you're really in the right place. You're really in the right place. This You, um, you probably have manifested this. The Lovers is about authentically and genuinely connecting with this place, with your position in this place and with the philosophy and, and the um, politics or whatever it is in this company, you really feel comfortable. You feel comfortable expressing your ideas, expressing your, even though don't take it easy, take it easy, don't impose too much Pisces, but you probably wouldn't. Right. It's um, the the lovers is about authentically really um, having a clear view on your position in this job, a clear view on your values on. And you, you really can articulate what you stand for and what you believe in. 
in touch with your feelings, your emotions, and your heart is opening up and, and it's really, um, you're learning, you're learning how to share with others. It's, it's something, you know, you're figuring out what you stand for and this is the perfect place to express your opinions or your ideas people will listen to you pisces i love this reading i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did thank you so much for watching pisces thank you uh, for sharing your journeys uh, don't forget to let me know wh where you stand in your journey what your story is all about and where you are from I find it very energizing to know that everyone is listening to these readings from the four corners of the world and that we can connect countries, especially in moments right like now, right? So love and light to everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't yet, especially if you like to come around every week, please subscribe and hit the bell. And if you've just stumbled upon this channel and this reading and you connected with it or enjoyed it or not, comment down below, comment down below. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week, Pisces. Take care. Bye-bye.